technical analysis has almost nothing to do with you being successful as a trader. Hi, my name is Nathan and I'm a full-time ES e mini day trader over the past five years. No, I don't say that you don't have to be a good chart reader as well, but I do say that being a great chart reader won't make you any money in trading and definitely won't make you consistent. <gasps> Why? Because the more you analyze, the more you're expecting to be right, and the more you're expecting to be right, the more you'll be disappointed when you don't. And the more you're disappointed, the more trading mistake you make. What is this huge reality gap between what you could have achieved had you only executed your trade flawlessly? You see, trading is about proper execution, not about analyzing your chart. You must equip yourself with the proper mindset Otherwise, no technical tools in the world, no matter how much you paid for it, won't make you any money. But why? Trading is supposed to be simple, isn't it? You identify your technical pattern and you act on it, right? So why is it that almost 90% of the traders don't make money? Why is it so difficult to achieve consistency as a trader? Well, the answer is quite simple as Mark Douglas explained it. It is your beliefs about trading that don't allow you to see the market in its true nature. So what is the true nature of the market, you must be asking? Well, I will give you the hard call truth. The market is random, but our mind is not doing so well with random outcomes. You see, the market is a probabilistic environment. Your method has a positive outcome over a large sample size, but the outcome of any individual trade is unpredictable. Here comes the problem. You know that your strategy has a positive outcome over a large sample size. But what you don't know is that your mind is not naturally wired to be okay with random results. Understanding probabilities and believing in it on your core personality so you can function on it are two different things. You can say that you get it and you truly understand that trading is a probability game. But as long as you can't execute all your trades without any hesitation, I can guarantee you, you just don't get it. Because if you would, you would be able to lose without feeling that you are a loser. And you would be able to be wrong without feeling that there is something wrong with you. Think about it for a second. We live in a world that's completely obsessed with winning is everything. You must avoid losses at all costs. That's how we grew up. These two beliefs are very powerful in your belief system and they won't go away just because you think you understand the probabilities. And if you can't execute your trade flawlessly, it's because you have two contradicting beliefs right now. You believe that trading is a probabilistic game, but you also believe that losing is wrong. The problem with the way you operate now is that it doesn't allow you to think in probability and when you approach the market on a trade-by-trade -trade basis, you operate on fear. Because if you truly believe in your core personality that trading is a probability game, you wouldn't be afraid pulling the trigger. What you are trying to do now is essentially trying to fill the gap of uncertainty by technical analysis and more indicators. And it doesn't work. According to Mark Douglas, the typical new trader who never made the required change operates out of four basic fears. The fear of losing money, the fear of being wrong, the fear of leaving money on the table, and the fear of missing out. You don't know that by now, but you are operating under these fears, or at least few of them. Otherwise, you would have been rich by now and probably skipped this video. I wasn't a successful trader during my first three years of trading, but the problem was that I didn't even know I was operating under fears, and I was looking for the answer in technical analysis. Of course, it didn't work. The problem with technical analysis is that the more you depend on it, the harder you try, the less you are successful as a trader. Why? Because right now, you are using technical analysis to avoid being wrong. Remember the second fear on Mark's list? The fear of being wrong? The thing is that if you are using technical analysis in any capacity to avoid being wrong, it doesn't work. So your technical analysis doesn't really help you to overcome your fear of being wrong. 
But technical analysis was never meant to predict the outcome of the next trade, but rather to allow you to have the odds on your favor over a large sample size. That's it. When you buy more and more indicators, more and more secret trading methods, you are essentially trying to avoid being wrong. And we know by now, it doesn't work. So now, you are even more frustrated, angrier, and worse, you can't avoid being wrong. No matter what you do, you can't avoid being wrong. And that's what I mean when I say that trading is not about technical analysis, but rather about execution. So you are confused, angry, frustrated, and afraid of the next trade. Bear with me here, this one is big. According to Mark Douglas, the problem with fear is that it causes us to narrow our focus of attention to the object of our fear, creating the very experience we are trying to avoid. Let me give you an example. Let's say you are operating under the fear of leaving money on the table. What you do then? You narrow your focus of attention to the object of your fear in this case, leaving money on the table. All you see is your hard-earned money being taken away from you. And surely enough, you take your profit too soon, every time. If there is a pattern in your trading, this is it. By doing so, you are creating the very experience you are trying to avoid, ending up leaving money on the table, consistently. And you do it all the time, so your fear doesn't allow you to execute your trading plan the way you should. It took me years to fully understand this concept. So now that we understand that all your efforts to purchase the Holy Grail indicator won't take you anywhere, Mark Douglas came up with one trading exercise that made the change for me. The exercise had only one goal, and it was to convince my stubborn brain that everything I thought about trading was wrong. I had no other goal but to wire new beliefs into my system to prove to me that I can't and I will never know the result of the next trade. And by trying to do so, I am destroying my chance to be a good trader. So how do you do that, you ask? Well, it's quite simple. You must take the next 20 trades of your method and execute them one by one. But this time, you are not allowed to skip, to move your stop, move your target, freak out in the middle, nothing. If you skip even one trade, you must begin the exercise from zero. Stick with me, guys. There is a good reason for this. Remember what you are doing here. You are convincing yourself by executing your trade that you can't know the outcome of the next trade because by trying to know, you are in a sure way to be a losing trader forever. Let me repeat that. By trying to know the outcome of the next trade, you will be a loser trader forever. Remember what we are trying to do here. You are convincing yourself by executing your trades that you can't know the outcome of the next trade. Because by trying to know, you are in a sure way to be a losing trader forever. If you will be able to complete this exercise the way I tell you now, you will be amazed with the results. And I'm not talking about the PNL. This is completely irrelevant. And by the way, you can tweak the verbal of your strategy if it doesn't work for you. But only, remember, only after you have completed the whole 20 trade sample size. You must do this exercise till you can flawlessly execute all 20 trades. You must be dedicated here. Your mind will resist it as it holds different beliefs right now. It still believes that you must know what will happen next, that you must analyze more. Don't let it do that. Execute and execute and execute till you do this without any internal conflict. At some point, you will know something has changed. You see, in this business, when you lose, you are not a loser. When you are wrong, there is nothing wrong with you. In business, there are expenses. And the moment you get this, by this exercise, losing will never feel the same. You must teach your brain that losing in trading is not what losing in every other aspect of your life. You can't run your business without expenses. Stick it in your head. By the end of this exercise, few of your incorrect beliefs will be changed. And this is where you become a better trader.